Look at how insanely fast I can do sound design with this Final Cut Pro extension. I can add sounds in real time to this fight scene by tapping only two keys, number one for whooshes and number two for punches. Watch this. At this point, when I cut to black, I'll hit H to add a hit sound effect, R to add a rise, and then I'll move forward to where my title comes in and I'll hit T for a transition, and again, I'll hit T for these two titles. Then I'll hit Q for a pulse sound, I'll go back to the beginning and hit D for a drone sound effect. I can tell by the waveform that this effect isn't going to be quite right, so I'll select it and hit Command R to replace it until I find something that might work. And let's listen to what that sounds like. How amazing is that? In less than a minute, I was able to add all of those sound effects to the scene. But there is also so much more that Audio Design Desk allows you to do, and we're going to get into all of that in this video. Audio Design Desk is also allowing me to give away a perpetual pro license to one of you guys, so stick around. But first, we need to take a step back and talk about how Audio Design Desk actually works, how it integrates with Final Cut Pro, and what exactly makes it so life-changing when doing sound design for your videos and films. Audio Design Desk works as a standalone app, so you can import your video file, do sound design, add sound effects in Foley, mix the different tracks, add effects, and all that good stuff. But it also integrates with Final Cut Pro by means of the Audio Design Desk Audio Bridge extension, which is amazing. Once installed, you simply head over to your extensions, open up the ADD extension, and then click on the logo to launch the app. The app will load all the sounds, and then you'll notice how your timelines are linked. When I play back in Audio Design Desk, the playhead on my timeline in Final Cut Pro moves as well. Audio Design Desk's whole philosophy is that they want to keep you in the creative flow. And what breaks that creative flow? Every time you switch from Final Cut Pro and head over to the internet to browse for sound effects or to find music, you then have to download it, look for it on your hard drive. Maybe you're working off an external hard drive, so you've got to copy it into the folder of the project you're working on, drag that into Final Cut Pro, only to realize that maybe that sound effect or that music track doesn't actually work for that scene. And you've got to start the search all over again. With Audio Design Desk, however, you stay in the creative flow and you can preview sounds while watching your edit. Let's have a look at these two punch sounds on the gloves. They don't have the impact that I think they should, so I can go over here and hit I to set an in point and over here to set an out point using O and then I'll make sure that loop playback is on and with these two sounds selected, I can play back the selection hitting Command R to replace those sounds until I find what works. If I want to find and replace them with something specific, I can do that too. I'll search my library for block hit and let's preview some options. Block hit 2 and 3 are both great, so I'll select both of those and then I'll hit shift return to replace those two sounds. Perfect. Let's also add some music with the Z key. I'll select the track and hit S to solo it, and as I play it back, I'll keep hitting Command R until I find something that I like. Maybe I want to refine the search and look for something that fits in the action genre. So I'll select that, select an intensity of four and five, and then I'll hit Command R again until I find something that works. That works perfectly. I can hit C and click to cut this music. I'll hit F and then fade it out. And then I'll hit A to go back to the select tool and I'll delete the end of that clip. Now it's time to send this back to Final Cut Pro. There are two ways. The first is by clicking on bounce in the extension and then dragging the bounced mix of sound effects and music directly into your timeline. Or, and this is the way that I like to do it, you can click on import project, which imports the ADD project into the extension and then you can drag that into the event in Final Cut Pro. 
it creates a new project, and then I can open that up, copy all of the wonderfully color-coded sounds, and paste that into my original timeline. I like doing it this way because then I have individual control over all of these sounds in Final Cut Pro if I need to tweak anything later on. That integration between Audio Design Desk and Final Cut Pro is a game changer for me and it speeds up my workflow in a big way. What you might have noticed by now is that when replacing sounds, the sync of that sound effect doesn't change. This is one of the truly special things about Audio Design Desk. Each of the sounds in Audio Design Desk have sync points at the moment of impact or the peak of a whoosh or transition. So if you look at the punches we added, there you can see that the sync point is at the moment of impact. If we take a look at one of the whooshes, there is a sync point right at the peak. This makes replacing sounds really easy. Let's say you sent this edit off to your client and they come back and say, the punches are a little bit too intense, can we tone it down a bit? All you would do is head over to versions, save a new version, let's call this one version two, and then you would select all of the punches, head over to replace and search for punch body. And here I'll filter the intensity to three. I'll hit command R and now all of those sounds have been replaced with less intense sounds. You can also select all of the transitions, rises and hits, and then hit Command R to get a totally new version of your sound design without having to re-import new sounds and resync them. If you know me, you know that I love shortcuts and I showed you some of them earlier, but let's quickly go through some of the different sounds and how you can add them using different shortcuts. H will add a hit sound effect, R will add a rise, and these are really nice to use together because you can rise into a hit, so you can rise into a moment of impact. D will add a drone sound effect, T will add a transition, Z will add a full mix of music, Q will add a pulse sound effect. P will add a rhythmic sound effect. X will add a textural sound. W will add an effect sound. B will add a bed. and you will add a pitched sound effect. Earlier, I also showed you how to add sounds using the number one or two keys, and all I did was add some sound effects from the library into one of these triggers, which allows you to just tap the numbered keys to add sounds. So let's say you wanted to add impact sounds to trigger three. All you would do is search for the sounds, select the ones you want, drag and drop them onto a trigger. In this case, let's drop them onto trigger three. And now anytime you press three, you'll add a different impact sound. ADD has a ton of sound packs that you can download directly from the app. If I head over to my sound library, you can see that I have loads of these sound packs installed that have hundreds or thousands of different sound effects in each one. And a lot of them even have some royalty free music. You can also add your own sounds if you have existing sound libraries and you can add sync markers to each of those files. The way Audio Design Desk handles sound and allows you to quickly build up sound effects and sound design elements is what makes it so unique in my mind. I've been using it for a few months now and the learning curve might seem overwhelming at first with everything that it can do and all of the different features, but the team at ADD are amazing and they really do absolutely everything to make ADD as easy to use as possible. So I'll leave a link to it down below if you'd like to try it out for yourself. You can pay for a subscription or you can buy a perpetual license. Speaking of perpetual licenses, that is exactly what Audio Design Desk is giving away to one of you guys. So make sure you click on the giveaway link down below to enter. If you want to see more videos about Audio Design Desk in the future, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.